so this just came in the mail. This is the Osranovic 12 volt refrigerator. Also, just a full disclosure, Osranovic did supply me with this cooler. They're not paying me to do this review. But I want you to know that will not reflect on the way that I review this cooler. You will get 100% honesty in what I think of this cooler. I like the finish. As you can see, it's kind of a brushed steel or brushed aluminum. A little bit of branding there as Ranovic. This is very nice on the inside. So on the inside, you've got a metal inside. This looks like aluminum. You've got a food basket or divider, whatever you want to call it. What's this? Thank you for choosing as Ronovic products. Maybe a paring knife or something. Ceramic folding knife. Cool. Using fish. Let's see. Connor, you gonna hold this camera for me? Hold it right there at that basket. This is Connor. He's gonna be my cameraman today. He's not wearing an off road recon shirt though, so we're not paying him today. Okay, so a little pie like that. Yep. That's it. So it comes with a, a power adapter for uh, 110. That you can plug in in your home. This plugs into the cooler side. And then it comes with this nice little uh, 12 volt adapter that looks like it's got an internal fuse um, as well. Nice little LED light built in the side here. I'm going to plug it in and we'll take some temperature tests and I will get back to you. Stay tuned. Okay, so I got my temperature gun here and we haven't even plugged it in yet. And we are sitting at 77.9 degrees. So it looks like your 12 volt and your 110 plug into the same spot. Just plug it in there like that. I like that. It's a flush, a flush foot uh, fit, and then your wire comes straight down. This way, if you do have it in your Jeep or in the back of your rig, the wire does not, uh, it won't push out and it won't get bent on because it's already folded down. They thought that one through. Nice job. Okay, so we just plugged it in for the first time. And it looks like it shows current temp at 75. Okay, so let's put this bad boy. Let's do like a freezer. Let's do negative two. So compressor speed. Looks like you've got a couple of options there. Let's see if we can get it in the camera here. Looks like you've got eco and max. And we'll look up specifications on that, but for now, let's put it on max just to see how quick we can get here. And I guess you got to hold the power button to turn it off. Hold the power button to turn it on. So it looks like there's not going to be any accidental on off. Okay, so we'll put it on negative two. And uh, 
time is uh, 438. We'll see how long it takes to get back. I'll set a stopwatch. Okay, so we're coming up on about a minute here on our stopwatch. And I just want to point out, I just now heard the compressor kick on. And if you can hear it here, there's a slight noise. It's actually really quite quiet. If you see this picture here, if you have a different type of setup and you want to move the door from opening landscape and open it in kind of like a portrait mode, you're able to do that with this. And um, I'll see if I can show you. So it looks like you've got these screws in the back and you move them to here, here, and here. And then they hook on in there and you can open and close this from the back. Okay, so we're at almost 13 minutes. Temperature's all the way down to 57 degrees. After carefully looking this thing over a little more, it does look like uh, these handles are removable on both sides. So if you were to put this thing uh, maybe on a slider or something in your Jeep, or your off-road buggy, um, you can actually take one of the sides of the handle off and that'll give you a little more room. For me, it's gonna be this back handle. But something you always wanna keep in mind is these vents cannot be plugged up. It has to be able to get that air out. That's hot air coming out of there. DC fuse is a 15 amp. DC total, or total input power is 45 watts. Okay, so we are at 23 minutes and we're down to 35 degrees already, so we're getting close to refrigerator temperatures. So look, I mean, pretty cool. Um, you can use this as a refrigerator or you can use it as a, a freezer. So if you want to bring ice cream on your overlanding trip, uh, you can do it with this machine. And, and something that I want to say, guys, um, as Ronovic is probably one of the better uh, customer services that I've had to deal with for these uh, 12 volt coolers. Um, you might think that um, you know you, you spend a little less on one of these things and you're not gonna get the service that you get with some of the bigger name brands or, or uh, things like that. But uh, as Ronovic has been great, every time I've called, um, and e even before they knew that I was a creator on YouTube, uh, their customer service has just been great. You can see we're at 24 minutes and we're down to 32 degrees, which we're right at freezing levels here. Uh, a little warm back here where the compressor is. Not, not overly hot. Boy, I don't know that. This transformer here is getting quite hot. 12.6 volts at 4.65 amps. And I'm not 100% sure what the operating temperature of one of these should be. 130 degrees. That, uh, I guess it's almost like a miniature inverter. And it, I mean, it feels hot to the hand. I'm not sure if that's normal. I suppose it probably is. I mean, even your, you know, your laptop chargers and things like that, they get pretty warm, but. So let's just recap that real quick. 25 and a half length with your handles. 22 and a half without your handles. 14 and a half width. And a 19 and a half height. And keep in mind on each of these handles you're about um, an inch and a half and uh, you know long on your handles and you can take them off on either side so if you need that little bit of extra space you're, you surely can um, keep in mind you got your compressor openings back here that must be open all right so we've made it to right at an hour and we're down to temperature here so we'll go ahead and stop our stop wow that's like right at an hour Temperature feels good and cold. Let's see what our 
some handy dandy little gizmo shows here. Okay. So this show is about one degree. Oh, okay, two degree. Okay. So that's about right. Okay, so now it shows um, that it's at one degree. So it's come back up a little bit. Um, the compressor has been off. Whenever it hit temperature, the compressor kicked off. So now let's, um, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. And let me just show you that it's at one degree here. So one degree, and we're gonna go ahead and kill this thing. Okay, so now we'll just kind of let this thing sit for a while, and we'll see how long it takes it to climb back up in temperature, and I will set this stop watch again. So coming up on seven minutes here, and look, I think initially, guys, five degrees. Compressor hasn't been kicking on. But I think initially here, uh, I really like it. Um, seems like a very good build quality. Obviously, we won't know until we kind of put it to the test and, and get it in the, the Jeep here. Um, cooled very quickly. Within an hour, it got down to temperature. And it seems to be holding temperature pretty good, probably... I would say just as good as my name brand coolers, um, if not better. It's just a, a good build quality. So, a um, couple minor things here. We've got a dent in this uh, uh, where the compressor has ventilation from. Probably be, supposed to be something. And as of now, it just doesn't feel like there's anything that really latches it down. Um, and this is their thermal cover. And I'll tell you, the, the build quality feels really good on this thing. Uh, it feels like it's going to be a really good insulator. And not only that, but the outside is really rugged. So I think that uh, this is going to be a, a nice little add-on. And you can get these from Azronovic for, I think, 60 bucks. So let's grab the cooler. Okay. So, I think, okay, looks like it just kind of zips up, okay, nice, it zips all the way around. for your plug focus there so um, this thing is actually held together quite nice and in the fabric feels good almost like uh, like the soft top on your Jeep uh, type material uh, feels really quality as you can see here they've kind of even put a dust cover on this there so that the dust can't get down behind the, the cover if you have it always zipped up um, you can see it's this nice uh, kind of thermal inside. Like, share, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here and check in the description for more details on this uh, cooler. A big thank you to Azronovic for supplying this cooler for this review and look guys uh, that says something about a company when they're willing to send it for a review and they know that a creator on YouTube is going to be doing a review because they trust their product. And again, with that trust in that product comes along um, the great customer service that I've experienced with them so far. Um, we got something good here and we got a good price to work with as a consumer. So again, I'm Ben with Off-Road Recon and it's been a pleasure making this review for you. Stay safe on the trails.